customize your loadouts. Uh, we've put all these little interaction points on the suit, which are your jumping points, into all the places you can customize your XO. And that's your starting point. Cool. And so we're going to dive in here a second, but there's a lot to there's a lot to digest here. So do you mind, Leah, just describing what are kind of the main sections for how you can customize your appearance? And then we'll have Francis dive in and, and we'll get going. Sure. So uh, as you can see, Francis is sort of hovering around the different points. Um, we've got uh, elements that can change sort of the silhouette of your suit and then elements that are going to be able to change uh, how they look. So your helmet, your arms, your legs uh, are all towards the silhouette. And then we've got things like O in the chest. And then of course, your paint, your vinyls, and your wear state will all adjust the physical appearance of the suit. And then ultra special, very fun animations, which will be for your emotes, <laughs> your landing ands, and the victory pose. Awesome. So I think what we're gonna try to do do today is uh, we'll, we'll do the ranger and we'll try for three appearances. And so Francis is just going to do his magics and we'll all watch in awe. Do you want to um, go to paint but first, I think maybe? we're going to start with paint, but yeah. why don't you take us away, yeah. Francis? Sure thing. So in the paint options, uh, we have six regions on your exosuit that you can customize. Uh, they are uh, very in depth. Each uh, region, it's not just the color like how we've done in the past in our other games. It is a full material, so if I go into here, I can pick uh, the main region here and I can apply a physical material to that. Uh, so I can put the metal, pick up the fabric, pattern fabric. Uh, and so one of the one of the things again here is uh, when you're picking these materials, it's not just the color, it is the physical material, so that effect, effect the reflectance, the smoothness, and the color of the material itself. And awesome. I love um, the patterns because they can have two colors. <laughs> I, I realized that I forgot to do some disclaimers. Oh. So uh, shame on Ben. Uh, but a couple of disclaimers real quick. We're going to show you a lot of stuff that's in here. Um, not all of it is available at the very beginning. Uh, some things you unlock uh, through the game in various ways. We also today don't want to talk about how many things there are, how you unlock them. Are there things that, that you pay for? Are there things that you can earn in game? Um, that's all a topic for a different time. We just want to focus on the really cool ways you can customize your appearance. So I uh, just wanted to make sure that was clear that, um, you know, none of what you see in here is either the total amount or a subset of the amount. We're just not really going into that. Uh, we just want to focus on showing you guys a bunch of cool stuff today. Yep. So, so what I'm going through here, yep. So what I'm going through here is I'm just kind of resetting the default look of the Ranger and I am uh, putting in just a blank slate, uh, just a just a white canvas to start with. So I'm picking some random materials here. Uh, the fabric. So once you've kind of picked the materials that you like, uh, you can go ahead and start picking the colors. Uh, we have a whole bunch of custom colors here. For... Yes, so you can actually make your own color palettes. As you see, Francis has been trying this feature out quite heavily. Uh, <laughs> I expect we'll all spend a lot of time doing this. And you can use sort of any color you want. The full color wheel is available here. There's tons of really cool options. And as you create different colors, they're all saved into this palette so you can use them for later. Yep, so I'm just kind of presetting some colors that I want to use here for customizing my uh, Ranger. Too. So while you guys are doing this, we also have um, AJ and Jesse helping us out uh, on our community team, uh, reading through the chat for questions. Uh, please just make sure you guys uh, ask questions as we go. I think the easiest way is if you all ask questions about the section we're in at the time, then we can answer them as we go instead of trying to wait till the end to do Q&A. So, so make sure you ask questions about what you're seeing right now, whether you have questions on paint or materials. Uh, and then we can we can direct them to Francis and Leah. All right. So, what are you trying to aim for here, Francis? Like, do you have a vision in mind of what you're trying to achieve? Yeah, I'm kind of going for a, for a a bounty hunter look. Cool. 
I thought you were going to make me the uh, Australian uh, rugby union jersey again. Well, I can do Boston, that. That's we fine. Can, maybe we can do that late, a little later. But we can yeah, certainly okay. do that. That's fine. I, I know when, when there's a no out there, Francis. Yes. That's fine. <laughs> so one of the nice things is, yeah, once you've picked your colors here, uh, you, know, you can go ahead and just pick any material and the colors will store and they'll save so you don't you know lose your settings. You can go back and iterate things on the fly. Yeah, when you guys were trying to work out the regions, because I think it's interesting we have the six different regions, how did you work out, like, how to split up those regions? So here, uh, just going through the regions from top to bottom, the regions are named in the same way that the artist had originally built the suit. So the, the ranger suits have three hard surfaces and three soft surfaces. Again, the player can pick whichever region they want, uh, but at least it gives them some guidance in, as to where these materials would look best. So I could go ahead in here and I could make this a metal, although it might look a little weird that if it's, for example, on the Storm Cape, it would be a little weird to have a metallic cape, but you could go ahead and do that if you wanted. I personally feel it looks cool, but as an artist, it might be weird. <laughs> a metal cape, but it still flows, am I right? It does. It's very shiny. There is nothing right, wrong we have a with couple of super shiny <laughs> we have a couple of questions coming through chat that i'll ask uh, you guys so um can you make custom logos in game uh no you cannot currently make custom logos uh but you we do have the options to do vinyls do we want to go into that now i mean already so let's to... hold vinyls yeah, let's... um uh but uh yeah vinyls are effectively what you're asking for. They're not custom. We have a whole lot to show you and Francis will show that off later. So yeah, the answer is no for now. Um, will there be more and more things added once the game is live? Uh, so the answer to that is yes, absolutely. Um, we're still trying to work out uh, the plan for all of that. Um, but our goal is to keep adding more and more stuff forever. As long as we can think of cool things to add, we'll add more stuff to the game. Um, Final question uh, for one of you guys at the moment that we have. Uh, will the Legion of Dawn armor have all legs, arms, chest, and head as well? Yep, yeah, so this is probably a good time to go dive into the Legion of Dawn. Uh, let me just... Okay, so uh, in here, this is as, as Leo was mentioning earlier, we have the parts, so we can go ahead and start equipping uh, pieces of gear. So for example, let me put on the Legion of Dawn arms. Go through and pick the helmet. And you can, the player can pick which ones they want to have. Yes, yeah, so I think an interesting thing uh, you were explaining uh, in a different meeting, Francis, was mm -hmm. how these uh, parts work. Like, it, it, it's less about, like, equipping arms as much as a bunch of attachments that reflect uh, the, the character model. Do you want to explain that just a little bit? Right, so uh, each of the exosuits, like the base suit underneath, the ranger, the colossus, the storm, and the interceptor, uh, all have an iconic look, which is their, their lowest level form. Uh, and then all the part attachments that get added on top, they are topical, although you can switch out your helmet. Cool. So you're putting the Legion of Dawn uh, armor pack on, which is uh, available to people that pre-order uh, for the Ranger. Uh, and if you buy the Legion of Dawn edition, uh, you can get the Legion of Dawn armor packs for all four Javelins uh, available at launch. So what one question, um, so many people have seen the Legion of Dawn art on the website, um, probably not realizing that, hey, like that's the armor pack, but you can also customize it. Uh, will people be able to make it look exactly like the image on the uh, website? Yes, so uh, what players will do, what we will do is we will release a set of materials in here similar to this, and we will have them named uh, Legion of Dawn. Uh, so that way, it'll give the players some guidance as to how to replicate that look. Um, so they can attach just all the Legion of Dawn materials to the regions, and then just pick the colors that they want to go with. It's pretty simple though, awesome. it's silver and, silver and gold, you can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing though. People are excited. Um, a question for you, uh, Leah. Um, can we save these uh, ap uh, personalization appearances to loadouts? Yes, absolutely. So um, we do have a section where you can store loadouts for all your different javelins. And 
edit them, change them as you like, and it will also store all of your gear and customization as well. So there'll be the full package for you to uh, build on. Awesome. I have a, a bunch more questions coming in. <laughs> uh, if you guys have things to say, just stop me and, and keep talking. But uh, what are some of the ways you can unlock new colors or materials? Uh, so again, uh, it's a good question. It's one of the things we don't want to get into today. So we're still working out for all of Vanity um, and all of our personalization options, how they're going to be unlocked in the game. And so we're not really ready to share that yet, but we can share that at a later date. Um, it's a really good question. I just don't want to talk about any of it right now. Uh, can you show how to use Legion Dawn appearances? Uh, yes, that's what we're doing now. I think I just missed that question earlier. Apologies. Um, can you change the color of any of the unique appearances? Um, yes is the answer. So that's kind of what Francis is doing now with the Legion of Dawn uh, armor packs. He's done a couple of different colors, uh, which is really cool. And I think certain materials, Francis, they have either just the paint color that you can change, and then all of our metallics have quite a few different metallic yes. ranges. So, so metal, uh, with the way our physically based rendering works, is metal is has an actual scientific value behind it. So if we start breaking that value, it tends to look not great in real light, uh, or at least in the game lighting scenario. So when you... Uh, the regions are contextual, so if you do pick a metal, for example, uh, let's say I want to go with, uh, go with the welded ones, I like the ones. Um, but so if you were to pick these metals, you would get a different color palette range. Uh, so these are all physical, real-world metals in, in, that exist in the real world. So uh, you have gold, brass, copper, nickel, tin, silver, tungsten. Uh, there's no alien materials, no, they, these are all based off real-world um, Metals. So a question while you're in this screen, I think maybe, yeah. is uh, can you zoom and rotate? Like if you want to see more of the character. Yeah. So you have controls. Go ahead and uh, at each level be able to interact with the exosuit. Awesome. Um, a question was, uh, will there be a randomized features feature for colors? That's a great idea. I will take that one back. <laughs> yeah, currently, so no, not, not right now. Right. But no. the nice thing is we we so uh, on this we have preset colors. So we the, the artists have already pre-selected a wide range of colors. So for, people don't have to every single time go through the color wheel and have to pick it for every single material. And just so people are aware, yeah, we've also added white and black values because I know that a lot of people always ask for black. <laughs> that kind of ties into a question I had. So I remember uh, early on, we were trying to work out how the system would work uh, to have a lot of depth, but also be simple for people like me who aren't the best with fashion. Um, and we got to an interesting place where I think it's pretty straightforward for someone who doesn't want to spend too much time or isn't necessarily that good at this kind of stuff in, in making something look good. Do you guys want to describe a little bit like if, if you're a if you're a kind of low-key person who just wants to do something quickly, um, how how do we do that? Uh, so uh, so usually uh, when you're in your loadouts, uh, or up through here. So you will always, whenever you create a new uh, loadout, you will get your uh, default ranger, and it just oh, I edited it. Uh, anyway, so. Let's, why don't we just go through this? So as you create loadouts, you can name them uh, whatever you want. I don't know, Jesse, if you'd be able to might be <laughs> give, us to, name. give us a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so this is a really, really great way that if you make a couple of things that, that you really like, you can swap between them easily. Um, you know, but you can also just do stuff like, hey, go to all six regions and make them all black, and that will just look pretty cool by itself. So you don't have to, like go through everything and, and spend lots of time. Although if you want to, you can really make something that, that kind of reflects your personal style and flair. Yeah, I mean, if I've got a whole bunch of friends playing here at work and I just want to get out, I'll just grab the default and change up a few colors. Typically all metal, very fast while they're waiting for me so that I can <laughs> uh, play my favorite Bender from Futurama look. It's always good. <laughs> So no, and it, it's super quick. You're in and out while everyone's readying up. Um, 
and you're also very shiny. Speaking of shiny, awesome. do you want to go into wear a little bit, Ben? Yeah. 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 Do so it. we do have wear options as well. Uh, so again, uh, ever, since everything is built in the layered fashion, uh, we 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 kind of built it in the way so that uh, the players can choose how they want their exosuit to look. Do they want them to look all beat up? Do we want them to look dirty? Do we want them to look all chipped and painted, uh, or have chipped paint? Uh, so the players can go ahead and do that. Uh, or uh, yeah, just cover it in grime. It's a little harder to see here. So that um, let me just switch up the appearances. Since it is all ma um, material based, if you have cloth and you put stains on it, it'll stain a bit more like cloth. Versus if you were if you had an all metal suit, the the wear would make the metal duller. It would make it cover it, the, the way the the surface response of of the the wear will react differently. And I should also mention uh, that you can, as we're looking at this, you can zoom in and out, uh, toggle on and off the little interaction points if you just want to spend time admiring your suit as well. Is a few of the options we've added in there, as well as you can see, not in this screen, but in other ones, there's lots of options. So we've added filters as well if you want to quickly get into what you need. Awesome. Uh, a question came through uh, uh, that I might, we'll see. Uh, the question is, <laughs> Uh, does this only affect your appearance as opposed to stats with things like the Legion of Dawn um, armor packs? Oh, Leah, do you you want to, or Ben, you want to grab that? It's an yeah, answer. I can answer. So um, <laughs> basically, the, there's two there's two big parts of the game. Uh, one is power, and one is vanity. And so what we're talking about now is purely vanity personalization, appearance, all kind of synonyms, I guess. Um, so everything we're doing now only affects how you look. Separately to that, we have uh, power, which is gears, guns, uh, and a few other equipable uh, parts that we haven't really delved into yet. Uh, and that's where you get your power and your stats. So we've really tried to separate that so that you know there's one part of the game that's all about becoming powerful and then there's a different part of the game uh, that's about you know changing your appearance to be the way you look. Um, and again, how you unlock all of those things, I don't want to go into today, um, but for what we're looking at right now, it's purely for uh, your appearance. Uh, another question, uh, can you apply a paint scheme to multiple javelins? No, we don't have that uh, ability right now, but I'm sure uh, as we go into live service, we can take some of that feedback and make this uh, even better for you. But great idea. Cool. <laughs> Mental it notes. is a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that answer was no, so I feel, I feel guilty asking. Yeah. This, but <laughs> one of those um, ones I'm recording silently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny because there's a bunch of good suggestions yeah. in here of things we don't have. Uh, and I think, you know, this is a really, really robust system. But obviously, like any system in any game, there's a bunch of things we'd love to do going forward to, to improve it. And so suggestions like that are really helpful for us. Sometimes they're things we thought about ourselves, but sometimes they're not. And so um, having those suggestions is great. So thank you all for asking those questions. Um, I don't know if we know the answer to this. I don't. But uh, how many personalizations can you save per javelin? So I guess that means how many loadouts can you have? I know right now we're looking at that. I believe it's currently set to five, but uh, expect that number to change as we go towards okay. shipping. Cool. All right, so let's take a little breath from questions for a second. <laughs> um, where are we at? I've been reading and not looking. What uh, Do you want to tell us where are we at, Francis? What, what, uh, what so do you want to do next? We can probably look at the vitals now. It's probably a good time if I get... There is a slight bug right now where when I select the loadout... I hope you're keeping track of this one, Leia. <laughs> yeah, sometimes misbehaves. Yeah. So yeah, we can go right into That's the finals fine. here. It's early. There's plenty of time. <laughs> so uh, the, the finals, right. again, is to answer that question about the custom logos. Uh, so here we have the, the vinyl system. So while we can customize your ex, you can customize your javelin and you can apply your materials, you can pick your colors. Um, that's all nice and you can come up with some really cool designs. But sometimes you just want a little bit more punch, uh, maybe a little reward for, for doing things in the game. Um, just something that, to, in addition, you uh, personalize your exo, give you a little bit of flair. That's what these vinyls are. There's a are lot for. of uh, 
N7 poggers going on in chat. So, yeah, we might have <laughs> to show gonna, that at some uh, point. Am I just going to go around that? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, a question, Francis. Mm -hmm. um, these uh, vinyls, are they uh, Javelin specific? No. So the vinyls, once you, you have the vinyl, uh, it'll apply on any Javelin you have. Uh, and it should within reason, look as good as it does on one uh, javelin as it does on another. You can't always account for every single nook and cranny on the exosuit that uh, this little stripe might look in the exact same spot, but it is as close as the artist can possibly get to making it look good. Yeah, like the spirit of the decal works across all the suits, right? Yeah. Like, I think they look really cool. I think you have a keener eye for it than many of us have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this is the one you. This is the one that uh, we made for Ben specifically for E3 because he requested it. <laughs> I don't know. There are any oh, we other, can put, uh, can put Australian in rugby fans. It's inspired by <laughs> the jersey. It's obviously not the jersey. It just it uses the same colors, yeah. which is cool. I think this is what I use when I play every day. Um, I know a question that's come up internally. I don't didn't catch it in chat. I think it might have been there. Was so you can change all the paint options for the the all the other stuff we've seen, but what about the vinyls? Can you change them at all, or how does that work? No, so we actually did. We we we, we debated this topic for a long time, and we we tried to put uh, full control for the player to customize each decal or each vinyl. Uh, the problem with that is the amount of performance expense that it has on the system, where you're um, you're you're tracking more parameters, more data. Uh, which did affect performance negatively. And on top of that, there was an added complexity. So you, you would have to double up every single one of these menus so that the player would have to not only you know, customize their, their personalize their exo, they would also have to go personalize their, their vinyl, which seemed like an extra bit of work for, for very little payoff versus the artist just making, you know, releasing these cool looking uh, one-off items. Which also, it really does help to signify things like for challenges uh, to have these iconic looking vinyls. So you, when you see another player who's done something, you can see the, the vinyl that is associated with it. Yeah, that's the part I was going to say. I think, you know, A, there's all the technical challenges and the user experience problems with it. But I think even as a player experience, to that exact point, it's great when you can see something and identify it. You know, it, it, again, we're not really talking about how you get things, but an example might be you complete a really difficult challenge and get a cool vinyl. And then you can use that to show off uh, to your friends that you got it. And if they can look at that and, and immediately relate that that's where it came from, that's what it is, I think that's a really cool way to show off, um, even if it's a little humble brag. So the chat is demanding and I'm sorry, they're demanding N7. Okay. So oh. <laughs> when the, the, the people have spoken, Francis. Um, yeah, let me uh, just. But did you, did you? I can't remember. So last week, was it last week or the week before? It was N7 mm -hmm. day. Who knows what date it is anymore? Um, and so we kind of were randomly like, hey, we should make an N7 look and share it on social media for N7 day. That's really cool. Uh, and so did you make this then or did you have it made already? I, no, I, I made it. Uh, it was done the night before the 7th. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? So yeah, I don't know if we need to right replicate to the exact look. Well, uh, you, you tell us. How do we I will get it as close as I can look. right now. Um, yeah. um, as Francis is doing this, AJ and Jesse, what are we like on time? I mean, we're happy to keep going a bit. You just give us like a five minute countdown when you need us to start wrapping up. So far, so good, guys. Okay, great. We'll let you know. So we're going to do N7. Is there anything big in chat you guys would like to see? Is there something that we haven't shown that you've seen in the menus that you think is cool or something you think we might have missed that you guys want to see? This is an interesting question. I think the answer is no, and it might go into our cool ideas for the future. <laughs> um, is there a way to match colors to the decals once you apply them? No, but that's no. a really good idea. Yeah. I don't idea. know if we okay. can add a color picker dynamically on top of the screen. 
but that is and that would help a lot. Do you want to like? I'm not an artist. Let's be super clear. But I don't know if you want the same colors, do you? Well, that's kind of that is. Uh, that, uh, I think probably the, the person who asked that was they noticed I was trying to match the color. Uh, yeah. to the decal so or to the uh, wait, so that okay, is a good okay. question so maybe we'll look into that one yeah, yeah. i mean <laughs> if you had it Stuff equipped later. in the paint section we could just have a a sex like an extra section yeah. with related colors so i am signing so, us up i'm just kidding <laughs> i might make a high risk suggestion here uh, okay for once you're done with <laughs> um so Chat is asking if we could see a different javelin. So I think, so first of all, can we show a different one? Question mark right now? Yes, we were having yeah. some problems earlier. Okay. Sure. So we, we saw a problem. So chat, you get to demand, you have to type a uh, storm or interceptor, and then we will pick whichever one has the most. Oh, good. And also, please give some some uh, pog champ for the N seven look because Francis did it without rehearsal. Yes, and I so got it good. Wrong. I got it wrong. You got it okay. wrong. A little bit. I can't tell. <laughs> close. <laughs> Feels super close. <laughs> <laughs> oh. For for like a no pressure in front of thousands of yes. people on the spot with no <laughs> practice, that feels like a pretty good deal. All right, so uh, the votes are in. Uh, I've used. Uh, my eyes skimming chat for five seconds to decide which one was most popular. And I think the storm was the winner. So okay. once we're done with this, we might swap over to the storm, Francis. Okay, we can do that now. Do it. Uh, Leah, a question to you. So, you know, all the suits are different. Um, is there lots of different setup required for, for the different javelins, like when you guys are building the system? Is there uh, any complexity with that? Yes, like each of them are set up with their own interaction points. Uh, they actually have their own names for each of the regions. Some of them have more paint regions than other ones. But yes, there's actually quite a bit of custom work that goes into setting up each of these from the cameras and all that kind of stuff. Which awesome. makes it all really fun and cool and unique. <laughs> yeah. So what we might do here, Francis, is let's let's spend like just two or three minutes. Um, oh, we already have a cool appearance. Wow! Okay, that's yeah, fine. you, you pre-made <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, that's fine. But let's spend two or three minutes sure. fiddling around, just uh, showing anything you think is kind of cool or different about the storm, um, and then we might take a few more questions, and then we'll start wrapping it up because we're we're starting to go over time here. Do you want to try emotes? Oh, yes. Let's do that. I don't know what do they'll do on the storm. But... Do we want to try it on the storm? Do we want to... No, no, no. Let's... Okay. Well, let's <laughs> okay. I think... Have we, have we ticked the box of we saw a different javelin and it looked really awesome? Yeah. I think we did. Holy, so that let's one is go so back good. To the Ranger. We're, ha we're still finishing a bunch of setup stuff, so we want to show you guys some of the animations, like emotes and things like that, but we only check through them on the Ranger, so we just want to do that uh, to be safe um, today. So let's jump over. Oh, you set up a bunch I, of I, these. I just go ahead <laughs> teasing. Some of this stuff, why not? Francis oh. is like, look, I know you're the host, but I don't care. I have to go, so I'm just going to go okay. ahead and show them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we should have been doing this on my account, and Probably. this would definitely yeah. have beat all my shiny suits for sure. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we're going to do the ranger, look at some of the animation stuff, so things like emotes, but we're also going to call five final questions. So uh, the community guys will skim chat for the final five questions, and as we do this, we'll we'll answer them as we go, and then we'll start wrapping up. So do you want to just talk through Leah first? Like, what are the sections in this screen represent? Sure. So here you're able to set your uh, victory pose, which is at the end of all of our missions, you get this really cool, fun celebratory uh, wrap up uh, with your friends so you can set anything you want there. The arrival animation is anytime you enter the game um, at the start of missions or you're helping other people and you make a grand entrance so you can set your arrival animation. And then we have emotes. Do we have any of them that we can show or are we, are, do no, we not want to show that No, they're team? not set up in there quite yet. Um, but we okay. do have lots of emotes. Something to tease, tease for later. Yeah. Uh, how cool you look when you enter. Uh, the game is one for next time. 
But yeah, there's lots of really fun emotes here. Uh, right now we've got three of them that you can use pick and game. And there's just all sorts of <laughs> great ones. This is my favorite one. Finger guns? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're kind of playing emote roulette right now because we do not have custom icons in quite yet. So, <laughs> yeah, but they're all working pretty cool. Look great. Shout out to the team for sure. Yeah, this stuff looks great. So if you see these <laughs> on the Colossus, yeah. <laughs> I've seen Kung Fu Form 1 before. I'm almost crying. Yes. It's so good. I've heard the Colossus doing a backflip is, is quite fun as well. <laughs> All right, so I don't know, um, AJ and Jesse, if we have any of those questions coming through, we should probably uh, ask them when you guys have a second. Yeah, for sure. Um, one thing, Ben, that I wanted to touch on, if you don't mind, uh, and Francis, do you mind pulling back up the Legion of Dawn? Yes. Can we show that a little bit? So a lot of people have been asking about Legion of Dawn. Um, we've got a link, uh, a nifty link, um, on how you you know get all that stuff. Uh, ben, do you have that stuff in front of you, or do you want me to go over it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about it real quick. So, okay. um, again, the Legion of Dawn uh, armor pack is is um, the thing you equip with your head, chest, legs, uh, etc. Um, as Leah described, it's kind of the things that change your silhouette. And so, if you pre-order the game, you get access to the Legion of Dawn armor pack for the Ranger, which is what we're looking at now. Super cool. Um, and then what I think is one of the most generous offerings in video game history, uh, if you purchase the Legion of Dawn edition, um, you get the uh, Legion of Dawn armor pack for all four of the javelins. Um, so that's four armor packs, which is, which is, I think, awesome. We're just really excited for people who, you know, want to be early adopters to the game to be really generous with a really cool look um, that you can celebrate. Like, hey, I've been here from the beginning. Um, and so we wanted to make sure we reward that. Uh, the details are on the website. Uh, I don't know if you have the specific link, AJ. Yeah, I think you touched on everything perfectly. Um, we're still pulling some more questions from the chat uh, as Francis uh, toys around with this this javelin here. And he's, he's kind of recreating what you see um, in, in the <laughs> mock-up there, which is really cool. Um, one question we're getting, Ben, and, uh, this might be for you, some people asking about, and mm -hmm. I know we're not talking about, uh, weapons or gear yet, but they want to know about, uh, you know, how that works. Are those, um, part of what you colorize and stuff like that? Sure. So, um, do Lear and Francis, I uh, could answer that one in terms of weapons specifically. So mm -hmm. weapons yep, do not receive colorization in the same way as the exosuit. Weapons will be, they will have unique looks and appearances. There will probably, probably be another um, stream going over that. So you can have really mm -hmm. cool looking uh, guns. Yeah, and kind of same with gear. Like the, there are some uh, variations to how the gear looks, but that's based on the functionality of the gear. Um, and so it's not tied to things that you can um, specifically customize, uh, but you can tie them together in loadout. So you can pick, hey, I want these three gear pieces, these two weapons with this appearance, and I save the whole thing as one loadout. So, you know, you might want to make the red dragon ranger appearance that's all red, and then you have equip fire gear, and, and then you might want to make the frosty warrior I wish I was more creative uh, and you know, you, you make yourself blue and then you equip the frost grenade uh, and save that as a loadout. And you then can then swap between both uh, the customization you have of gear and weapons uh, and the appearance uh, can be tied together. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next question, AJ. Sure. Uh, we've got, uh, this one that I've seen a few times, I, I don't know if you want to touch on this. Uh, they saw the the Nifty N7, and of course we're uh, getting questions about a certain other uh, Bioware IP called Dragon Age. So um, yeah, I think... well, go ahead, Francis. No, I was gonna say we do have Plaid Weave in the game. Uh, so... <laughs> 
Um, I, I think you know the answer to all Bioware IPs that we own is, of course, we'll do shout outs and and stuff like that to those IPs. Uh, I don't think we want to get into the specifics of all of it. We obviously made N7 because N7 Day was was just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm sure we'll give nods to our IPs, you know, as we go forward. So I'm sure you can expect to see things where it makes sense and where it's, you know, appropriate. All right, let's do, what, two more questions and then we'll call it. Yeah, let's do, yeah, one or two more. Uh, and, and be sure to drop them in there. We're kind of, as we're kind of going through this, everybody, and thanks for joining us today. Um, I do want to give a... Uh, Quick shout out to Leah and Francis, and I'm sure you were going to do this, Ben, but uh, thank you guys for, for for joining us today uh, on the uh, on the Anthem live stream. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah, so let's, uh, I'll do a little bit of wrap-up stuff uh, as we get those final questions together. So uh, first of all, um, for those of you that are in Twitch, thank you so much for coming along. Uh, make sure to follow the channel so you get notified of when we're doing uh, streams in the future. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash Anthem Game. I'm sure you know that because you're there right now. Um, uh, both Mike Gamble and I will be kind of rotating hosting the streams probably. We'll kind of rotate week on week so we can bring guests in like I said at the start. Uh, we'll try to share information about upcoming streams uh, through Twitter, uh, through ourselves, also through AJ and Jesse and, and our main channels. But uh, feel free to follow us. Uh, I'm at Ben Ervo on Twitter and Mike is at Gamble Mike on Twitter. Um, as for the next stream, our goal is to do it in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're trying to get consistent with this stuff. Um, we haven't announced a topic yet, although if you're savvy on Twitter, you saw Mike uh, posing questions out last night about what you guys would like to see uh, next stream. Uh, so we'll have some announcements for that coming soon. Hopefully in the next couple of days, we'll give you some more clarity on what we'll do uh, for the next stream. Um, okay, and then uh, before we sign off, let's get the last two questions. So... Uh, can you change the color of the visor on helmets? That's a good question. Leah, do you want to answer that one? The visor on the helmets? Mm -hmm. Is it yes? I think it's yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Can I we am. do it? Not now. No. <laughs> okay. So we will be able to do it. Yes. Good. Good question. Um, I think we, we asked, we answered this question, which was, uh, can we change the appearance of weapons to my javelins? So uh, we talked about that already. Let me see if I can find a random question in chat. And your gear does inherit the colors of your your, your javelin. Oh, that's so a great that's color. A so I misspoke here. before. Yeah. I said it didn't. Yes. That's so. a great clarification. Yeah. Awesome. Um, a lot of the questions I'm seeing are similar to ones we've answered. So let's go ahead and call it there. Um, first of all, I want to just thank everyone who was involved in putting the stream together. Uh, it might seem like we just turn up and chat, uh, but a lot of pre-work goes into this. And so we had a lot of great help from a bunch of production folk, a bunch of our QA partners. Uh, Francis and Leah put a lot of time into this. Um, Jesse and AJ put a lot of time into helping getting everything set up. So thank you all so much for all of that hard work. Um, obviously, a special thanks uh, to Francis and Leah for joining us. Uh, it was great to have you as the experts of all of this. I know that uh, we couldn't have covered it as well without you. So thank you so much for coming on. Uh, and a final thank you just to everyone who turned up to watch. Um, We've really loved engaging with our community so far. Everyone has been so supportive and encouraging. Uh, and if you, you have no idea how helpful that is for us as we're getting into the, the last little bit of time here to finish the game, it, it's great to have that support and, and that positivity that's in our community. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, and then again, look to Twitter and other uh, parts of social media uh, for announcements on the next live stream. But once again, thank you all so much and we'll see you next time.